Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about Zay Flowers. But before we get into the film part of this video, I want to talk to you about some of the numbers that Zay put up and the analytics, since that's a huge part of today's NFL football game. Um, he was targeted nine times for nine receptions, which is always good. Anytime you catch every ball that's thrown to you, um, whether it be great passes or spectacular plays or just routine catches. You always want to catch every ball that's thrown to you. That way you maximize your opportunities. Uh, he averaged 14.7 yards per catch, which is, you know, anything over 10 is good. That means he's getting the most out of his opportunities again. Uh, he had 87 yards of yak, meaning whenever he got the ball in his hand, he did damage with it. You know, whether the short pass, he turned it into a long pass or mid range and he got some extra yards afterwards. Afterwards, he did what he needed to do to um, extend the play and, and again, maximize his opportunities. Uh, being versatile, he had 13 plays in the slot, 19 plays outside. That way, if you try to put like a number one corner on him, he could play inside, he could play outside. And if you don't have a guy that can do that, well, you at his mercy. You at his mercy. Um, he also had one contested catch. Uh, according to PFF, he had one missed tackle forced. But when we watch this tape, you're going to see that's not necessarily true. Um, <laughs> multiple missed tackles forced, in my opinion. In my opinion. Um, he finished this, this game with um, 132 yards, which is his best yardage output of his young career. He's in his second year. And um, we're going to take a look at how Todd Munkin got his best skill guy the ball in multiple areas so he took his best playmaker and got him the ball in various ways and let him do his thing which helped the baltimore ravens function like a machine uh sunday afternoon so welcome back to sip the tally films i'm your host coach evans let's get into it So welcome back. Let's get into this film portion of the video. Let's talk about how the different ways that Todd Munkin was able to get Zay Flowers the ball and maximize his skill set uh, versus the Washington Commanders. Because you'll see him get the ball in multiple different ways. As of now, he's down here at the bottom of your screen. I'll highlight him. That's him there. Just running a quick out route versus man coverage. Quick out. They got a huge cushion, about a eight yard cushion. They know they got a quick out route. Bam. F5, time route in motion. There's nothing the corner can do to close on that. It's nothing. Ball's a little behind them, but because the routes ran so good and there's so much cushion, it doesn't matter. Zay goes up. Eyes to the ball, which I love that with, with all receivers. Your eyes should follow the ball till it hits your hands. Eyes to the ball till it hits your hands. Don't worry about where the defender at. Don't worry about whether you're going to take a lick. It's football. You're going to get hit. Take your eyes to the ball. The eyes is the reason you can catch. You catch with your eyes. Your hands secondary. No matter what nobody tell you. Even if you think I'm a fool for saying that, trust me, I've been saying it for 20 plus years. You catch with your eyes. Your hands are secondary. He does a great job of going up and get that ball. And uh, coming down and also having the opportunity to do something with it after he came down. Honestly. Boom. Stick their foot in the ground. Barely, the defender barely hangs on the tackle. Barely hangs on the tackle. Now he's at the top of your screen. Out wide. Remember, he, he played in the C play from the slot, and he played from out wide. If you try to put your number one on him, your number one better be able to travel in multiple positions. Bring him down. Gonna kind of use a little screen from Mark to run a little drag up under. Now, if you hit this guy full speed, because look where his defender is. They're playing man. His defender is picked off by Mark Andrews. So if you hit him in uh, in stride, he has a chance to get a lot of yak. This is a four-yard throw by Lamar, but he thrown throw it on time. And where they didn't have to adjust to it. Look, that's about, a, about 15 yards of yak right there. Getting your guy the ball in space. Getting your best... Skill guy, the ball in space. And I'm not I'm not including Lamar and and Derek in the skill comes. I'm talking about the receivers. He's your most versatile guy. Yeah, that could bring them in motion. They all commit to this play fake by by Derek Henry. Look at 
everybody on the H, all up in there, even Bobby Wagner and other linebackers that play fake to Derrick Henry. And now you got Zay and Bateman on the outside 2v2. And you also got some linemen coming out there to get a, be a part of this screen. So now you technically got the two commanders out here, plus Bateman, uh, Ronnie Stanley, and Falele. And you got Tyler Linderbaum and Rosengarten and sealed off the, the rat killers, which are the um, defensive linemen that's trying to get back into play. So now with everything blocked up, he's gotten through the initial layer. And now you got Falele just running down here trying to trying to block somebody. But Zay does a good job of using likely, using Falele. But they, well, I say using Falele, but Falele out there getting wind sprints. But again, he, he a part of the play. Good job. Good job, Zay. A lot of yak. A lot of yak. Because, again, talk about the yak portion. This ball is, he's caught, he caught this ball on the, what's this, the 31? Got to the other 31, the other 21. That's a lot of yards. I can't do the math in my head this fast. A lot of yards. A lot of yards on that play. If you know, put it in the, in the, in the comment section. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Now you got a jet sweep with him. Pop pass. Now, with that being said, he's, he's a gadget guy too now. I said you're using your best playmaker multiple ways. He's a gadget guy. Run a jet sweep with him. Pop pass. Got blockers in front of him. You got likely blocking on the edge. You got Mark blocking on the edge. You got Justice finna lead up on that corner. Now you just turn it up. Again, all this is Jack too. That's 10 yards. That's 10 yards right there before he get touched. So you got about 13 yards on a pop, on a pop pass, which AKA the jet sweep. Again, Munkin doing a good job of using his best playmaker in multiple ways. Don't, and don't forget he can run routes. Another quick out. You give him too much cushion, run, run right at the sticks. First down. No way the sticks at. Break at it. Ball's on time. First down. Simple. Simple. Nothing 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 extravagant. Nothing, you know, with this huge I I I I just simple football. Coming in motion down here at the bottom. That motion lets, you know, Lamar know his man. Little play action. Another little screen with Ricard out there. Didn't make didn't make a guy miss on that one. Got tackled behind the line. Got at the bottom of your screen. Man to man. If if we can protect long enough to get him to run routes that work across the field like they're running now, or anything that a long route where he got to run across the field like that or like this or from this top, you know, anything like that, and we can protect that, ain't very many people in the NFL that can stay with it. And in this case right here, this guy's got pretty good coverage here. This is A right here being covered. But between the throw and him getting a little bit of separation here at the end, he's at his mercy. He's at his mercy to do whatever he wants. Look at the throw right on time. So much that he knows that guy's trailing him. He's going to shut it down. But those long extended routes, if we can protect those and get him on deep overs and stuff like that, and we catch him in man because they're, you know, biting on the play fakes, shh, that's going to be deadly all year long. All year long. You see him in a tight bunch at the bottom down there at the bottom of your screen. Get another deep over. And Lamar just trusts him in the middle of the field. Because this ain't bad coverage. But Lamar just trusts him. What I love about him is, watch. I right, see he's breaking right at the, what's that, the 34. I love the way he helps Lamar out by coming back down the line to the ball. If he stays flat, this guy can maybe get in and, and knock the ball down, maybe even undercut it, maybe even undercut it and pick it. But he helps his quarterback out by coming back down the line while going across the field to catch the ball. And that keeps the separation that you created and also helps the court protects the quarterback from getting the ball knocked down, intercepted, or any of those bad things that can happen to the uh, throw. See him work back? He worked back. And so he ended up catching his ball on like the 34 when he was working initially between the, the 30, I'm sorry, the 33, when he was working initially between the 34 and 35. 
He still got the first down. So that's all that matters. Got the first down. And we'll end right here. Got an on the line of scrimmage right there at the bottom bunch with Nelly. That's Nelly in, in, um, in motion. Another deep over. <laughs> and they playing man, he just can't stay with him. Just can't stay with him. Just can't stay with him. Another good throw. Now, this, this wasn't a perfect throw where he, he was able to lead him, but you see Lamar got a little pressure around his feet, so that's understandable. But still a good throw for a first down. Got a first down. He was able to catch the ball with the hand. Look at the hand stick up there. Look at the hands. Bam. Stuck right there. Strong hands. Strong hands. Nothing wrong with that. Love it. Good strong hands. Now, attempt to make somebody uh, miss. But again, I just wanted to highlight Zay's record setting day and really record setting first half because everybody else kind of got involved in the second half. Uh, we got him, you know, a few touches in the second half, but mostly all his damage was done in the first half. And, and he led to the offense being, you know, he was like the, the choo choo that, that started the train. And uh, the second half, we got busy, busy. And I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Remember the motto, film, then more film. And I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I appreciate y'all. See y'all soon. Peace and love.